here's your latest African news. Worldwide, Soul Cap, Afro Swim Cap Olympic rejection is heartbreaking for black swimmers. Young black swimmers are disappointed and heartbroken by a decision to ban a swimming cap from the Olympics that's actually made to cover their hair. Soul Cap say the international governing body for swimming rejected an application for their caps to be certified for use at competitions. They say FINA told them the caps are unsuitable because they don't follow the natural form of the head. Soul Cap makes swimming caps to fit over and protect dreadlocks, afros, weaves, hair extensions, braids and thick and curly hair. There are very few black swimming coaches and competitive swimmers and with so many barriers already existing, FINA has decided to add yet another. South Africa. South African court agrees to hear Zuma's challenge to jail term. A South African court on Saturday agreed to hear ex-president Jacob Zuma's challenge to a 15-month jail term for failing to attend a corruption hearing. As hundreds of supporters gathered outside the homestead of Nkandla in a show of force. The Constitutional Court had on Tuesday given Zuma 15 months in jail for absconding in February from the inquiry led by Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. Zuma had until the end of Sunday to hand himself in, but on Saturday the court agreed to hear his application, suspending the order yet again. The ex-leader has applied to the court for the sentence to be annulled on grounds that it is excessive and could expose him to the COVID-19 virus. Ethiopia. Tigray forces issue ceasefire conditions. Tigray defense forces that retook regional capital Mekele from Ethiopian government forces have issued conditions for a truce with the central administration. Shortly after Mekele was captured on Monday afternoon, the Ethiopian government announced a unilateral ceasefire. A day later, Tigrayan forces categorically ruled out a truce, with the spokesman of the Tigray People's Liberation Front, Gata Chureda, saying their forces would keep fighting until the Ethiopian military and its allied forces completely withdrew from the region. However, in a statement issued on Sunday, the restored Tigray government said as far as an ironclad guarantee is secured to ensure the people of Tigray don't suffer any new invasions, they would accept a ceasefire in principle. Southern Africa. Southern African bloc to probe Eswatini protest violence. A team from the Southern African Development Community, SADC, will arrive in Eswatini this week after the kingdom was rocked by pro-democracy protests and claims of a deadly crackdown. The kingdom's government said it had invited the Southern African Development Community, SADC, to carry out a fact-finding mission. Ethiopia. Ethiopian people raise over $20 million for Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Over 1.9 billion burr has been secured from various income generating schemes for the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. During the past 11 months of the current fiscal year, Office of the National Council for the Coordination of Public Participation on the construction of GERD. The public has demonstrated overwhelming participation in financing the construction of the mega dam. During the past 10 years, the country has managed to collect 15.6 billion bear from the public to the GERD. Preparations has been finalized to launch the GERD network that would have multiple importance in mobilizing funds for the mega dam, thereby supporting Ethiopia's vision to prosper. The network would bring individual and societal knowledge to support the national efforts to ensure the development and utilization of natural resources. Nigeria. 11 authors in contention for a 100,000 Nigeria prize in literature. The Nigeria Prize for Literature rotates yearly amongst four literary categories, post-fiction, poetry, drama, and children's literature. The advisory board for the Nigeria Prize for Literature has announced a short list of 11 drawn from the 202 books in the running for the 2021 edition of this prize. The judges describe the short list as fresh approaches to looking at issues, 
using new and exciting narrative strategies, techniques, and well-written organic plots to present topical discussions in realistic ways. The judges stated that there has been a visible improvement in writing skills and commended Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas, founder and sponsor of the prize, for giving writers a platform to blossom and even experiment. Namibia. Namibia teenagers barred from Olympic 400 over testosterone. Two 18-year-old runners from Namibia were barred Friday from running in the 400 meter at the Olympics because of high natural t testosterone levels, becoming the latest female athlete to be affected by the same contentious regulations that have sidelined Casta Semenya. Christine Mboma and Beatrice Masilingi, who burst into Olympic medal reckoning with some blistering fast times this year were rejected, were subjected to medical assessments by track governing body World Athletics at their training camp in Italy, the Namibia Olympic Committee has now announced. They were withdrawn from the 400 meter race by the Namibian team after the test revealed high natural testosterone, which meant they wouldn't be allowed to run in the 400 in Tokyo. Their exclusion from the 400 sparked angry reactions and criticism of the rules from numerous political parties in Namibia. Many Africans feel only seem to apply to this only seems to apply to African women after European women complain to the governing bodies as to why they can never beat the African counterparts. <sighs> Let's see what happens with that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch our weekly news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.